and also uh, since it can move about uh, move out of the uh, shade and to a bright spot to collect more sun di solar data so uh, trees and shadows uh, won't have as much of an effect on this solar panel since it can move around uh, the other uh, feature is the uh, XB Wireless Pro UART, wireless UART, uh, will hook up to the PIC32's UART 1 port and be able to transmit uh, telemetry at 115-200 baud. Uh, and the telemetry will be uh, sensor messages and it will also be able to accept high-level sunbot commands from a laptop so I could tell it to move to a certain position. Uh, the position will be determined using a GPS uh, because it needs the uh, GPS latitude, longitude, and altitude data to uh, determine the sun's position during the day. Another feature is the PIC32's uh, real-time clock will be used to collect the, uh, to, to gather the, to get the correct time used as a, uh, an entry into the world. Here you can see some detail of the uh, azimuth. I mean, sorry, the uh, yeah, the azimuth uh, drive um, using the uh, five volt motor, uh, which is attached to a timing belt that drives the entire uh, sunbot assembly zero to three hundred and sixty. I plan to have a motor similar to this uh, HD. Uh, it's a five volt geared DC motor, very powerful. Uh, for the uh, elevation drive also but uh, I may continue just using this one if it uh, works good enough the, the current VEX motor the VEX motors by the way work really nice for the 6 WD or the 6 wheel drive uh, I use uh, the RC steering so I only require one one control of the uh, VEX uh, remote control to, uh, to move the uh, sunbot around. Now you're going to see the uh, sunbot moving about uh, using the Gilbert 4 robot platform uh, as the base. You can see the six wheel drive. Takes a little while getting used to. Uh, and one of my future options is going to be to have Sunbot to be able to move about. Look for the brightest spot uh, using GPS uh, wayside uh, GPS positions, so that it can collect data around a, a home or business, find the best spot where uh, to place solar panels. Here it is moving around my lawn. It's pretty powerful. It should be able to carry the weight of the battery. Uh, it's powerful enough to carry around a laptop in itself um, using the six-wheel drive. Another uh, uh, application for Sunbot would be uh, uh, as a uh, explorer on a different planet, such as uh, Mars, being able to collect, uh, point the solar panel, very similar to the NASA uh, robots. One of the main features of this uh, sun tracker is that it has the capability of tracking the sun in all weather. Uh, so even uh, stormy weather won't affect it because it doesn't depend on photo, photo cells. Uh, it doesn't uh, look for the brightest spot in the sky. It does use photo cells but only to collect um, levels, light levels. But it doesn't use it to point the uh, solar panel. The solar panel is automatically 
precisely pointed by the azimuth and elevation angles from the uh, navigational uh, tables. These are the same tables used for uh, uh, captains used to uh, pilot ships in the ocean. We have fusion called the sun. It's available to us now. Sunbot will be able to gather that energy. It'll be able to point solar panels uh, up, you know, all surrounding it. There's uh, Sunbot moving around the lawn looking for the sunlight. Point directly at the sun on its own using the PIC-32 MX board and data card and the two DS PIC-30 F4011 motor controllers. The XP uh, wireless Pro Wireless UART has a range of one mile, so the uh, Sunbot will be able to send telemetry up to a mile away. It will also be able to control other panels up to a mile away by sending them uh, messages, con command messages containing the uh, current sun's elevation and azimuth, which pr won't change very much. Uh, for a given latitude, longitude, and altitude. Uh, and like I said, the sunbot only points to within one degree. Northern latitudes will be able to take advantage of uh, its, this advanced tracking capability since uh, sunlight is a little bit less and the uh, insulation levels are a little bit less than, let's say, the southern latitudes. The next step is to integrate the uh, PIC32MX controller and the two uh, motor drivers, the azimuth motor controller and the elevation motor controller. And then uh, develop the uh, software, the firmware, to track the sun. It'll do so by reading the uh, one megabit serial EEPROM, reading the uh, azimuth and elevation angles from it, and then uh, formatting those uh, into uh, motor commands. Uh, there'll be a, the motors will be able to, uh, I mean the quadratropical encoders attached to the motors will be used to uh, monitor the position of the, uh, of the panel along with uh, a, a freescale X, Y, and Z accelerometer as a double check to find out where exactly the panel is pointing. These features will be used for calibration of the motor drive and also for uh, pointing, make, correcting any errors, pointing errors. Uh, that's all I have for now. Uh,